Twitter blue accounts fuel Ukraine war misinformation. Here's a summary of the article. Many misleading posts have been shared online about the recent riots in France, but one viral post last week focused on US military aid to Ukraine. Several Twitter accounts with blue subscriptions have shared the post, which has been viewed more than a million times. Several Twitter accounts with a blue tick have recently promoted a claim that Russia has discovered baby factories in Ukraine. In the immediate aftermath of the attack, a post by an account with a Twitter blue subscription, which positions itself as a legitimate news source, claimed the strike was mistakenly launched by Ukraine and hit a military barracks housing NATO troops and foreign mercenaries. Posts claiming Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has cancelled elections in Ukraine have recently gone viral on Twitter. Commenting on the statement, former Fox News host Tucker Carlson, who's been critical of US aid for Ukraine, said in his recently launched Twitter show that Mr. Zelensky's comments prove he'd ended democracy in Ukraine. Twitter blue accounts on a similar theme have been shared hundreds of thousands of times. This post received a score of 6,800, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I went back to look at some tweets while you could still view without signing in. All the troll and malicious accounts were now all verified and pushed to the top. Troll farms can now just buy a blue check to be heard. Hardly believe it's coincidence. People need to quit the platform en masse. Advertisers will leave as well. Then it's just Elon's $8 entry fee. Why would a corporation advertise for thousands and thousands when they can just make a blue check account and get pushed to the top? During its heights and before the mass migration to Reddit, Dig was worth over $200 million. After the exodus it was sold for $500,000. I think in terms of proportion of its initial value, Musk may well exceed this, even before you factor in how much he overpaid. What caused the mass migration from Dig to Reddit? Dig rolled out an update which made the UX worse, killed the ease of use and it would crash and often result in Dig being down. Also news started coming out that individuals and companies could buy their way to the front page. I remember when I can has cheeseburger did that and it killed the site and all its associated sites instantly. That's a name I haven't seen in a long ass time. I can't even remember what material they had. Wasn't it mostly memes? Most likely a component of a Russian disinformation network is the Twitter Blue accounts. They are aware of the MAGA Karens who are their target demographic. On Twitter, they typically hide behind MAGA hashtags, and when you visit their page, it is flooded with pro-Russian propaganda. It's safe to say that Musk's inability to moderate has rendered the Twitter Blue system a complete failure. I doubt you it's functioning as intended. Yeah, it is really unfortunate to see so many people thinking that Musk has failed and Twitter misinformation and hate is running rampant under his watch, failing to understand that that was his entire objective. He's cozied up to authoritarians around the world and constantly spouts all right shit to feed his cock-gobbling minions. His plan was to kill Twitter as it was, to push out progressive discourse and enhance hateful, conservative messaging. He has succeeded. The guy bought it accidentally. He isn't that smart. The Saudis literally helped him pay for it. Rich people don't give money away without ROI. The Saudis saw what Twitter did for the Arab Spring. Then they heard the news that Elon wanted to buy it. Musk really thought he would improve Twitter. The Saudis funded him because they knew how incompetent he really was. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.